Balut? Do you eat balut? Good! Did you know that? Itik Pinas, the improved Philippine Malar Duck. The Philippine Malar Duck, also known as Itik, Itik Pateros or Pato, this is basically raised in the Philippines for the production of fresh duck egg, for processing into balut and salted egg. Philippine Malar Duck is second to chicken in the production of egg and meat from poultry in the country. Approximately, we have 430,000 families derive their livelihood from duck raising. There are three key factors to consider in duck laying. First is the genetics, from duckling to ready to lay pullets. Second is feeds, from quality and quantity of feeds. And third is the management, from housing, labor, and health. For this project, we tackled the genetics of the Philippine mother duck. Why? Because of lack of quality duck breeders in the country, no one is engaged in the production of breeder day-old ducklings and pullets. All replacement stocks are coming from balutans. The ducklings are only byproducts of balut production and according to Lambio, in 2004, replacement stocks are not product of appropriate selection methods and breeding systems. Why? Because local and foreign studies have demonstrated the benefits of organized breeding and selection in improving productivity and efficiency of duck egg production. The Brown Chaya of Taiwan, the Sherry Valley of USA, and Kaki Campbell of England. The goal of this project is to conduct genetic improvement and development of signature Philippine duck breed. Specific objectives? First is to develop breeding prototype Philippine Malar duck and eventual Philippine signature egg type Philippine Malar duck breeds. Second is to produce the egg laying performance of Philippine Malar duck. Third is to develop a model for sustainable breeder duck and day old duckling distribution systems. The Philippine Malar duck cycle of breeding and selection strategy and criteria. Who go first? Duck hen or egg? For this project, we started from egg. Selected those egg more than 65 grams, incubated it for 28 days, brooding and growing up to 18 weeks of age for individual selection on plumage, color, and body weight. Those selected will set into families up to 40 weeks of age. Then selected 50% of the families with high egg production. From those with high egg production will collect the egg for incubation. That is the Philippine Mara duck cycle of selection. Signature Philippine duck breed, Itik Pinasi team. Your lines, when you breed male and female, the offspring will be the same with peak of egg production of more than 99%, more than 12 weeks above 90%, and small body weight at 18 weeks of age. Itik Pinas Kaki, pure lines, when you breed male and female, the offspring will be the same with peak of egg production of more than 98%, more than 10 weeks of above 90%, and small body weight at 18 weeks old. Itik Pinas Kayumangi, the commercial lines, when you breed male Kaki and female Itim, the offspring performance are comparable to their parents, and the sex can be determined by feather color at day old at more than 98% accuracy. When you get the ducklings with brown down feathers, they are female. And the black color feathers are male. That's the advantage to non-selected Philippine Malar duck. In order to transfer the improved Philippine Malar duck or Itik Pinas to farmers, the project adopted the pyramid breed distribution scheme, wherein the nucleus farm keeping the elite pure lines, the multiplier farm keeping parental stocks to produce commercial lines for commercial and backyard farms producing fresh duck eggs for balut and salted egg. Some multiplier farms in Saragossa, Nueva Ecija, Candelaria, Quezon, and Trento, Agusan Sur are producing pure lines and selling quality eating pinas ducklings, ready to lay pullets and duck eggs and commercial and backyard duck raiser using Itik Pinas for sustainable duck egg production for quality balut and salted egg.